Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, slap tags as they're called um, which is this basically some slats and there's a picture in it and then the words or whatever you want to write on it so first what you're going to need is the slat template which I will be providing for you guys up in the more info section of the YouTube place and if you're seeing this video from my blog the link should be right there or I'll probably provide the tag itself or whatever um, the first thing you want to do is of course save your slat tag because it is a transparent image if you just copy and paste it it's gonna be like all black so save it and open it in PSP then go ahead and choose your magic wand tool okay get this out of the way choose your magic wand tool um, mode to add match mode color tolerance 20 um, make sure contiguous is checked feather 0 and anti-alias and make sure this is inside and then click on all your slats so once you have marching ants on all of your slats, go ahead and pick a picture. I'm going to go ahead and use this picture of my son. I think he looks so adorable. So once you open your picture, go ahead and copy it and paste into selection. Okay, then you can go ahead and close your picture. Once you have your picture in the slats, you want to go ahead and edit it as you like. What I like to do is change it to black and white by going to hue, saturation, and colorize so that when I over overlay the color, it'll show more. Another thing I also like to do is use the Optic Verb Labs Virtual Photographer plugin, which is free. You can um, search Google for Virtual Photographer or go to the Optic Verb Labs um, website and you can get it. It's self-installed so it's really no fuss. It's really easy to, to get. If you're using this, you want to go ahead and just look through the, um, the presets and find what you like best. I usually use either Ambience or Radiant or since it is black and white, um, Diffuse looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead with the okay. Once you have that done, go ahead and open up a new layer on top of your picture layer and go ahead and choose your gradient. I'll try this one and go ahead and pick your flood fill tool and you're gonna flood fill inside each slat like so then you want to change the overlay settings to let's say try screen or you can use screen or overlay whatever you like best sometimes you can just do um a soft light you know whatever you think looks best I'm not really liking this gradient, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a different color. I'm going to try going for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and get rid of that gradient. And fill it again. What's in my new gradient? Let's see what looks best. Let's try screen. It looks pretty nice. Overlay is just not too. Now I'm gonna go with uh, with screen, and I'm gonna turn the opacity down a little bit and down to 75. Should, looks good or 65. I'm sorry. So you, you can turn it down to whatever you like. You can not turn it down at all. I'm going to leave it there at 66. I think it looks pretty good. Next thing you want to do is 
just select none and now you can add your text so go ahead and pick your and go ahead and write out your text make sure that you have your foreground set to transparent and only your background is visible you can use the same gradient you used for your slat or you can just choose a color you know set your size to whatever you want you can if you want to use a foreground you can of course i just personal preference you don't you can do it backwards something like this maybe i'm gonna go for it okay and then you want to go ahead and decorate your text of course so i'm gonna do an inner bevel which would be the same one i always use <laughs> um bevel two with 10 smoothness 25 depth five Ambience negative 27, shininess 35, color white, angle 135, intensity 35, and elevation 60. And next I'm going to work on the outer glow. So what you want to do first is go to selections, select all, float, defloat, and make sure you're on your text layer. you want the marching ants to be around your text next you want to open a new layer and move it down to the bottom of the text make sure that you have your empty layer selected go up to effects plugins and use your alien skin gradient glow plugin to put in a white gradient glow so I'm going to be using this effect okay so I'm going to be using the settings of um, mask selection glow radius 24.40 soften corners 35 overall opacity 100 distortion amount 23 distortion lump size 55 gradient smoothness 100 and then I have my my color set to white and these little dots are like right there just kind of play around with it till you see you know wh whatever you like however you like it um, but these are the settings that I'm using and then just press ok and now you have your grading glow on a different layer so go ahead into selection select none then on your grading glow layer go to selection select all then flow selections deflow and you want to go ahead and color your gradient so your yeah your glow I'm gonna use the brush to do it because the flood fill tool just isn't too accurate on this and on a separate layer if you want or on the same layer I mean whatever you like you can go ahead and just paint your gradient or whatever color you want to use over the glow And then you can set it to to hue or or whatever you want. Go to selection, select none. I set mine to hue L. You can do anything. You can do color. You can do screen, um, overlay, whatever you think looks best. That's hard light, soft light. You can play around with the settings to see what you think looks best. I think I am going to use you. Let me use Hue Legacy there. And then you can just merge. You can merge all right there, or you can just copy merged and paste as new image. And there's your slot tag. You can you can save it 
and you know do whatever else you want with it um, you can also add other things to it if you want like little brush decorations or whatever but this is basically how I do mine so if you have any questions feel free to ask um, hopefully this helped you out so yeah have a good one <laughs>